Ready, go! Alrighty guys, welcome uh, to this episode of The Plug. I am testing out some new equipment here today, so hopefully the sound is pretty good. Um, but anyway, we've had a really good last month. Uh, Toddzilla has just left. Um, I dropped him at the airport this morning, only a couple of hours ago. So um, I wanted to jump on, say hello to you guys, let you guys know how the trip was from the kind of behind the scenes things. Um, let you know some of the cool things that we did that you may not have seen and um, some of the cool things that we're going to work on moving forward and just, you know, chill for a bit with you guys and uh, say thank you most importantly. So uh, the plug, you guys know what the plug is about. It's reflecting and looking forward on the YouTube channel, the business and everything that's going forward. So uh, I had an awesome time. Let's just say I had an awesome last Two weeks, Toddzilla stayed here at my home for two weeks and it's amazing what happened to me as an arm wrestler in that two weeks. Um, one thing that I think that I am very intuitive on is the ability to grip people with certain styles and feel the benefit of why they arm wrestle the way they do. And Toddzilla is one of the most unique arm wrestlers on the planet when it comes to um, the style in the way he moves both in offense and defense. And I picked up on a lot of that and I have a far greater understanding now on how to implement Toddzilla style strategies on the table and honestly playing around with them with other people, it feels amazing. Um, Toddzilla liked to say that it, uh, he was pretty happy because he said to me at the end of it, look, it only took, it only took a week and a half uh, for me to get the, excuse the language, the faggoty ass top roller to use a Todd, Toddzilla term. Um, out the door and to make you grip up like a like a real arm wrestler, as Todd likes to call it. But um, the cool thing was learning how to use Toddzilla strategies uh, on the table translates a lot to just a lot of connection and power and it gives me another weapon that I can use in my strategies. I'm very much um, an arm wrestler modeled on defensive Devin Larratt style pulling, on offensive John Brzezink style pulling, and now I have this grinding Toddzilla style pulling available to me as well. So as an arm wrestler, the last two weeks has been amazing. I hit some huge one rep maxes. Um, the best one I hit was uh, whilst I was demonstrating one rep maxes down in Melbourne we, at our last seminar. I hit 60 kilos one rep max on the right arm with the wrist wrench from a high attachment point perpendicular to the table. So really, really happy to be able to hit a one rep max like that. It's given me so much confidence for me to be able to wrist wrench, flat wrist, hit 60 kilos perpendicular. Um, I feel like that's legit elite. And I feel like that is going to serve me incredibly well in the very near future. My next tournament, as you guys may or may not have heard, is the Zloty Tur Tur Tournament in Poland, which is in the first week of December. And I'm going to be competing at 86 kilos. I've hired a nutritionist to help me get down there um, to be not only lean but strong at the same time. I'm going to be in the best shape I've ever been in in a physical sense. And mentally, I tell you, right, I'm, I feel so good mentally. I feel like I'm going to the Zloty to win it. I don't feel like I'm going to the Zloty to experience it. I feel like I'm going there to win it. And when I look at the opponents, um, I'm, and I'm starting to do my research already, I just feel like I'm going to be strong enough to just, just just beat them. I don't feel like I need to run from them. I don't feel like I need to um, really out arm wrestle them. I feel like I can just be stronger than them. Um, and that is a really good mindset for me going in. I've never been into a tournament like that before feeling like that. Um, I've, I've competed a couple of times in that environment, um, Moldova and WAF Worlds back in 2015, but I've never been to the Zloty. And I, I believe the Zloty is the most premier tournament in the world for arm wrestling. And um, to feel like this going in is amazing. Uh, I'm going to have a whole bunch of cool friends there with me. I'm gonna, uh, I know Marlon Kleinsmith, Sarah Buckman are going to be there in my corner. Um, Todd's not going to be there, but... Gonna have some cool Swedes in the corner with me, which is gonna be awesome. I can't wait to hang out with those girls. Lachlan and Adair is gonna be there with me as well, um, and just quietly, he is in dangerous form. So he is gonna do well in the 105 kilo class. And um, 
it's just going to be an experience that will give me the opportunity to establish reputation in Europe um, as well as North America. And honestly, I feel so ridiculously strong and my numbers in my 100 max are skyrocketing at the moment. And honestly, I feel like by the time Zotti's here, it's going to be up another 5-10% across the board. And 5-10%, um, and uh, like Todd's one rep max record that he's ever lifted is 77 kilos with the wrist wrench. And um, that was with parallel uh, setup, high, high pulley parallel setup with the wrist wrench. And I hit 60 kilos with the perpendicular, um, perpendicular vector high wrist wrench and that's a really significant number like Todd's really built into me a lot of confidence he's told me that my numbers are legitimate um, gripping up with him all throughout the two weeks uh, we both gripped up a lot we beat each other up so much with training uh, and I was right there with Todd the whole time the whole two weeks um, so he really instilled a lot of confidence in me and um, the way I felt when I gripped up with the Melbourne guys was phenomenal. Uh, I really, really felt strong. So anyway, that's enough about me as an armor. So that's kind of where things are going. The business side of things, YouTube, uh, I want to say thank you to you guys. You really spiked up the views uh, during this Toddzilla series. And um, I can't thank you guys enough to uh, help grow the subscriber base during this time has been really awesome. Uh, no doubt that was going to happen because Toddzilla is the man. And uh, it was really cool to have him here. But thank you guys for sharing the content so much over the last few weeks whilst Todd was here. Um, on another business note, in the last 30 days, I've gone under contract with um, the purchase of a property. You guys may recall I put an article out um, about a month ago saying that I was calling for investors. Uh, I had a great response. Investors, multiple investors contacted me, had some really good conversations. But it actually, where it got to was... I haven't taken on a third party investor. Uh, I have just gone to the bank and I have applied for a loan um, to purchase the property myself. And we're getting all those uh, stars aligned and uh, hopefully very soon we will be have that loan over the line and we will be under, not under contract officially because we already are, but we will have purchased the property. And then pound for pound arm wrestling will lease that property from me. Um, as I'll be an individual owner of that venue. But it's just so exciting. There's so many things to come. Um, I've really dreamed up a lot of really cool things in this last last month uh, that I want to push forward with once that new venue's there. Um, one thing that I do want to talk about is women's arm wrestling. Uh, women's arm wrestling, uh, I feel like there's a big opportunity globally um, in women's arm wrestling. It's already amazing, but... It isn't what men's arm wrestling is. And I just feel like through Arm Fights Unleashed and what I'm going to do, that women's arm wrestling may be the reason why the sport grows. Um, and what I'm getting at in my head is um, the Arm Fights Unleashed system that I'm, uh, I'm going to roll out once we've got this venue is much like the UFC, you've got the ladder at the top and you've got tournaments below win a tournament, you get yourself on the ladder, lose on the ladder, you fall off the ladder, be at the top of that ladder, you're holding up the belt. Now, the studio that I'm building is going to be um, ESPN standard. We're going to have lighting, cameras, sound to the level of other professional um, sporting coverages. Uh, we're going to have a weekly show that is going to cover the sport. And the beautiful thing about it is, I feel like I can put out very regular content with women in a way that has never been done before. Um, I'm going to have only three women on that ladder. I'm going to have a champ and two contenders. So we're just going to have three women on that triangle of death that are going to be fighting for the belt at any given time. And then the women's tournaments that feed in to replace those people that lose. Um, the cool thing is, I feel like we can do this with women um, with a small number of actual women competing. Uh, yet, we can still represent the product of, of that women's arm wrestling on the digital uh, platform to the level of ESPN standard. Uh, so it doesn't matter that there's only a handful of women. Where previously, having only a handful of women has been a big issue. Um, I'm going to be able to, with this structure and format, 
make a small handful of women um, generate very consistent content, very consistent matches and very consistent storyline because we're probably going to have a dominant champion for a while and the prize money is going to be good. I'm confident that I can put these women's matches out there in such a way that that they are going to be shared just as far and wide as the men's matches. Of course, we will have men's as well, but I actually feel like the women's is going to be a big catalyst to the growth of everything moving forward. And that's an exciting part for me. I'm Early next year, you will probably see Sarah Buckman and Marlon Kleinsmith here in Australia um, to kind of help with kickstarting everything, just to, to build momentum in the women's and some excitement about the women's. Um, Gabby Vasconcellos, I know she's keen to be out here as well. Uh, so I'm, I'll probably work with Gabby. She's in brutal form. But even just the women here in Australia and New Zealand will be featuring very prominently. And the cool thing is, is they're all going to be paid properly. And the digital product's going to start to look amazing as it's rolled out and refined. Um, so that's what is really in my head at the moment coming forward is focusing on getting a great digital product with Arm Fights Unleashed once we have this new venue. Um, another thing on back on the Toddzilla front, um, we did two seminars, one in Brisbane, one in Melbourne. And I feel sorry for the Brisbane guys because they went first and we improved so much on the, the, uh, the presentation and the content at our second uh, seminar. And I know that our third and fourth and fifth and sixth seminars are going to be amazing. Todd and I um, basically uh, gave the seminar together. Um, we did a lot of different cool things. We not only demonstrated um, the training method, but we got the, the guys at the seminar fully involved in it. Everyone went through a one rep max session. We compared things. We refined things. We really gave people a blueprint um, that was immediately transferable to their own training and everyone who walked away from that was very, very excited to go and train and to start doing the Hutchings method. Um, and I think just quietly, because I've been doing it for 10 weeks, the Hutchings method works. Like clearly it works. Not only has Todd done everything he's done with the sport, but in 10 weeks he has taken my numbers and made them skyrocket. Um, so it's amazing. And I think that it will quickly catch on everywhere. It'll quickly catch on. So Todd and I are, are looking at where we can do seminars uh, in the future. Between now and the WAL season kicking off, we'd love to, to do it. So we'd love to go to China. I know that there's a lot of excitement in China. Um, we'd, we would can also consider doing it in the US as well, obviously. Um, but the, the options are really endless. So I guess what we want to do is we want to get a bit of a feel. I'm going to reach out there and, and network a bit and see where the clubs are that would be most interested in having Todd and myself turn up for a weekend and do a um, two-day seminar. The first day being the group seminar, the second day being private coaching sessions. Um, but anyway, that's kind of what's going on with Todd and myself. And I think that's going to be a big, big thing. And like I said, Todd's training, it... It really is on to something good. Um, but anyway, uh, all that, that said, guys, it has been an amazing month. It's been really, really cool. Where we're going in the next month, um, some big things, as you know, with the, the property and the, and the business developing. The YouTube channel will continue to roll forward. I'm always going to push for better and better content. And um, yeah, me as an arm wrestler, you're going to see a lot of my preparations for, for Zlotti. I've got nine weeks now to really train hard, get those one rep maxes up um, even more again. I want to be 5 10% stronger by the time Zlotty happens than I am right now. And I think I can achieve that. Um, and yeah, I'm going there to win, guys. I'm going there to win Zlotty. And I think I can do it. Um, it's going to be awesome. But guys, as always, thank you, the people there in YouTube for watching, supporting, liking, sharing, letting videos run, uh, letting ads run till they're complete. All those things make an enormous difference. Uh, the, I love seeing your comments. Trust me, I read every single comment that is made on every video on YouTube. And um, I'm very grateful for that because the more likes, the more shares, the more comments, the more YouTube puts these videos in front of other people. And that is what makes the business grow um, most of all. So guys, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the last month's content and hope you're excited about where it's going because I certainly am. Um, it's going to be awesome. 
right, guys. See ya. Yes, that's a bet!